Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for enrolling my new course. This course focuses on developing data stream application using the Apache Flink framework. Let's take a quick look at the outline of this course. This course totally contains eight sections. In the first section, I will quickly introduce the basic concept of Apache Flink and the features then quickly develop a Flink application and submit it to Flink's standalone cluster. In the second part, I will look at two different resource providers, a standalone resource provider and the Apache YAN resource provider. We will then look at the three submission models of the Flink application in details. There are session model, per job model, and the application model. In the third section, we will dip into the architecture of the Flink runtime and the core concept and the core components, such as the parallelism, operator chaining, task slots, and the slots shared group, and the details explain the job submit workflow. In the fourth section, we will do a lot of data stream API program practicals, how to build the data stream source and introduce the Flink type informations and the basic operator and the UDF, key by and the aggregation, partitioning algorithm and how to customize the partition algorithm by yourself and set on the put the minor data stream events to the Side data stream and one data stream unit another data stream, one data stream connect another data stream. Customize the data source and sync. Okay. In the file section, we will explain the Flink windowing operation in details. What is a window assigner and how to create a window? Window aggregate function. What is the window triggers? and how to apply the triggers, even how to customize the trigger by yourself. Also, I will introduce the evector and customize the evector, help you to deep understand the triggers and the evectors. Also, I will, we will develop the application working with the window result. Okay. In the part six, we were learning a very interesting concept, watermarks. In this section, you will clearly to know how to handle with the out of ordinance data and the later data in the streaming application. In the part of seven, we are focused on how to develop the stateful Flink application, kid state, no kid state, state backend, and so on. And so finally, we are going to look at some more advanced knowledge, checkpoints, save points. How do you design and implement a Flink application that is a state guaranteed end-to-end -end exactly once? Okay, see you next lecture.